failure is not about the outcome it is about not trying you are supposed to fail because your failure is the stepping stone to success failure is an experience that lend to wisdom and ultimately makes you a stronger version of yourself you will never succeed more than that you fail that's not how it works you know why because failure is a wonderful teacher it's the only way to learn you have to fail failure is a part of the process of becoming successful keep going you are supposed to fail who do you know that gets it right all the time that's impossible you have to fail when you fail be glad about it every time you fail you are one step closer when you are willing to fail again and again and again then you make up your mind to become unstoppable move forward in the direction of your dreams you want you have won in that regard a failure is just a sign post that you are going in the wrong direction next time you encounter failure you have got to remember every right thing on this planet because the creator learned what did work but learn more from what did not work when we are kids we don't stop at failure we get up and push forward until we achieve our goal when we get old and most of us get weak we come up with excuses tell the truth why you fell and make sure you don't fail again make sure you are stronger for having that lesson every time i feel failure it means that i'm doing something and that i'm growing in a particular way if you didn't fail you did never be able to appreciate success we are all aware that there is nothing that we can do to change the past yet we won't let it go sometimes we don't even recall the events that had played out but we are still attached to the emotion that we experienced we replay this past events wondering how we could have done things differently what we don't remember is that we did our best at the time we all know what we can do with the knowledge understanding and awareness that we have in the present moment a rough sea makes a skilled sailor the pursued bad moment that we experience contain lesson that help us grow as a person those moments made you who you are and deepened your wisdom wisdom doesn't come from staying in one place it comes from exploring and experiencing life fully it's time to begin appreciating your past no matter what it look like holding on to anger guilt and shame will do nothing to improve your future it's time to stop stealing your joy your happiness and your peace when you learn to forgive yourself and get over it it feels like weight has been lifted from your shoulders you only have so much mental energy to use throughout the day and if part of that mental energy is being used on something that happened in the past you don't have space to create your future stop cheating on your future with your past learn to have gratitude and full acceptance for the way it happened use it as a learning curve and a gift you get to choose what you would like to bring into your future with the realization that you and everyone around you are doing the best with the knowledge understanding and awareness that they have comes a sense of peace and perhaps forgiveness comes easier because you know that they only had a limited toolbox now that you have the awareness and understanding you can build on your knowledge to create the life that you want and desire people have different kinds of attitude some have negative in the form of ego and some have positive in the form of kindness even egoistic people have kindness in their heart most of the time their ego stops them from doing something which they should do attitude mostly depend on your surroundings like your behavior towards someone depends on how the other person is towards you and that is what is your attitude towards that person it is easy to develop a negative thought process if you limit yourself when we concentrate on negative thoughts and negative attitude can spread to every area of our life it is possible to change your attitude when you start thinking positively 
your mind become clear of any negative thoughts. You will stop blaming yourself or others. You will be in total control of your emotion. When you develop a positive attitude, you will start feeling better about yourself. You will treat yourself with more respect and love. Train your mind to create a good mood. Repeat positive affirmation every day. It is a great way to train your mind to think positive. A positive attitude is not just about that smile on your face every time. It is more than that. It is about maintaining that positive mindset and attitude even when things get out of control. Feed your mind with positive thoughts and you will see amazing changes around you. It is a choice you can make. You will build a better reality for yourself. If you want to stay positive, do not take yourself too seriously and learn to laugh at yourself. Try to keep an attitude of hope in your day-to-day interaction and situation. You choose to see the positive in any situation and make the most of it. When you keep an attitude of faith, God will fight your battles for you. So start doing it. There are many successful people. Those people use their time right. They commit to learning new things every single day. Successful people never stop learning. Think about this. You have $86,400 to spend every single day. But when the day is over, money disappears. The sad part is we have only 86,400 seconds in a day. And most people take this time for granted. Most people let this disappear. We never get this time back. We must use it wisely. We must be productive. We must use our time to do things enjoy so we can spend our future doing more things we wanted to do. Instead of wasting your time on meaningless things, use it to learn new things. The time you spend playing video games or partying with friends will never come back. Once you use that time, it's gone forever. Use your time wisely. Read books, study hard and learn as much as you can. Most people give up on their dream because it gets too hard because in their mind they stop believing in themselves and once the belief is killed, the dream is killed. If you have a dream, you must do everything to make into reality. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, never stop believing in yourself. Life itself is a test, sometimes you will fail but the only way you can be a failure is if you stop trying. Whatever dream you have, use all your energy to make it into reality. You will all down many times on the road to success. But the most important thing is that you get up, get up stronger, wiser. Create a mindset that doesn't allow you to quit or stop believing. If you quit on your dream and give up, you will never know how great you can be. The courage takes to face your deficiency and continue to try and try. That's where we have succeeded. What I am good at, what we are good at together is not right all the time. It's learning from your mistake. So can you avoid being triggered? If you are being triggered, you look outward and you are angry at the person that triggered you. That's a weakness. You are manifesting weakness. If I am not thinking differently, that means that I have insecurity. I need to address my insecurity and then that's going to put me in a far more powerful position to move forward. Stop telling me all the things that are not going to work. Tell me the things that is going to work. The thing with excuses. Sometimes they are very true, but it doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve your goal. So you are going to let them sit with you or are you going to find a way around it? You can become anything you want to become, but you are going to have to pay a heavy price to get there. The problem is, people expect something to be self-evident. They are told a lie that they are born with a purpose. You are not born with a purpose. You are never going to come across something like, this is what I meant to do with the rest of my life. You are going to find something that gives you more energy than it takes. If you put time and energy into something, your brain will change and you will get better at it and that will improve your skill. Skills have utility. You don't read a book to get an A on the test. You read a book to learn something that lets you do something in the real world that other people can't do. You are learning something so you can solve problems, hard problems that other people can't solve. By doing what other people can't do, 
you are able to serve yourself that fulfillment this is how the human mind works you have to value yourself entirely for figuring out what you need to achieve your goal when we think of the word positive most of us probably think happy however happy to be happy most of our brain works on autopilot 50% of the thing we do it is not we are doing it is our automatic brain we are just on autopilot we are not consciously thinking about it most people don't even realize they can take control of their brain they don't even try to take control of it they just accept that it does whatever it does human brain is an incredible complex and dynamic organ it controls so much of who we are and how we operate including everything from memory and emotion to vision and hunger it is important that we understand how our brain works and we can optimize its function your brain is part of you you are not separate from your brain when you choose what to do your brain is involved when you feel pressure or acting against some part of yourself your brain is involved whatever self conception you have about yourself involves process going on in your brain your belief and thought determine your feelings which in turn determine your action which in turn give you life results this results shape your beliefs and thought which determine your feeling Be mindful of the words you use in your mind and what you say to others. Your words can hurt people including yourself and this can only hurt yourself and your resulting behaviors and thought. If you express positivity and love this is what you will receive in return. It benefits all and creates good energy. If you go thinking something is impossible it likely it will be impossible. If you want to change some aspect of your reality you have to think, feel and act in many ways. we have to be different in our emotions if you take control of your thought you can alter the direction of your entire life the brain is the most powerful organ in our body it is a weapon when you know how your brain works you can then shape your brain to manifest more success more joy more happiness in every area of your life When you think of breaking yourself down what comes to mind maybe you think of hitting rock bottom after going through a tough time or maybe you think of pushing yourself to your limits during a difficult situation during this tough times we learn the most about ourselves there are many people around you 
who have the attitude of being stuck in the same position. So many people think the way that they are. You don't think that the way you are right now. You think that you can at least do something to change yourself. Identify the areas of your life that need improvement. Take action and don't give up on yourself. Understand the power of your attitude towards yourself. How you become aware of yourself. How you talk about yourself. How you represent yourself. At the end, it becomes a reality for you. The person you are right now, it doesn't matter. The person you are in the past, it doesn't matter. Everything matters how you are building yourself. Each day you wake up, you choose whom you are going to be. You choose what you commit yourself. You choose how you are going to treat everyone around you. You choose all these things. You choose how much money you have in your bank account. The amount of money which you have in your bank account is your choice. Everything is because of you have chosen. You get to decide the person that you want to be from now on. You can build a new version of yourself. You have to realize that either you build yourself or you just let life happen. If you end up without success, it is your fault. Don't be the same person. Try to push yourself to grow to get better. You can change your life right now. You can change yourself instantly with one decision to build your life. At the end of your life, you look back and see this is what you have built in your life. The choice is yours. So start doing it. Nothing in life is promised except death. If you have the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people won't appreciate their moment until it passed. Those times when you stay up late, those times when you don't feel like working, you are too tired. You don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is the dream. That's the dream. It's not a destination. One of the first steps. you can take to impose discipline in your life is to wake up early in the morning when the alarm goes off you got your head on the soft pillow it's all nice and warm in there you do not feel like getting up you should not snooze the alarm it is a dream killer the reason most people fail is that they give up what they want most for what they want now 95% of our decision makers are made by how you feel in the moment and that is the problem If you accept the fact that you may never feel ready and you may never feel motivated and you may never feel courageous and that's okay but you can still push yourself forward as you start to see yourself becoming a person that take action the mind has a tactical advantage over you at all time it knows you are afraid it knows your insecurity it knows your deep dark lies and it starts to push you away from them it pushes you in a comfortable direction the mind controls everything think strategically all the time before you take any action or inaction ask yourself this question is this going to make me stronger or weaker will this action move me to the strategic long term goal i'm trying to achieve in my life and do not lie to yourself you have to tell the truth the truth is you have time you have skill you have knowledge the support and the will power and the discipline to get it done we can change our lives by changing our perspective few situation or good or bad If you find yourself starting to think a negative thought, soon you'll be acting the way you wish. What do we do when we become trapped by our thoughts and unable to escape negativity?
the bigger your dream is you must understand the harder the grind think about your goal taste them internalize it dream your dream you have to feel it you are getting closer and closer to it but more importantly you have to know when you dream your dream that the other people who dream the exact same dream when you say to yourself this is what i want to accomplish you are not the only person that wants to accomplish it what do you do when a thousands of other people want exactly what you want what do you do when you are not the only one that want to make a million dollar in your company you are not the only one that's wanting to be a president what if you are not the only one that want what you want what if there are thousands of other people who want what you want you have to outwork them you have to outgrind them you got to get up earlier you got to stay up later you got to execute when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe then you will be successful if you are going to successful you got to be willing to give up sleep because if you go to sleep you might miss the opportunity if dream were easy everybody would make them happen the problem is that most people outwatch most people it won't make you a bad person but you will forever be average because to be great you got to keep up you have to eat the dream you have to dream the dream you have to see it when nobody else sees it you have to believe it when you cannot see it you got to be possessed with the dream but the problem is you don't value you you don't value your time if you make good one or bad decision once you make a decision the dream is much closer to you develop a strong mind you will live a strong life a strong mind is built from feeding it with positive thoughts and learning new things every day not for a while but for every single day a strong mind is built with daily gratitude when you are grateful for everything you do have you have no room for negativity no room for doubt and anxiety a strong mind is built with goals goals that give you a reason to get out of the bed and attack the day a strong mind is built from knowing your responsibility of your life your result your success and your failure a strong mind is built with learning learning new things every day on topics that expand your mind and develop your skills growth is the key to life If you are growing and challenging yourself every day you will lead a happy life if you are not you will suffer the mind is like a muscle it gets stronger when you embrace challenge when you push it to its limit when you learn what works and apply that to your life a strong mind is one that surround itself with the right people it does not allow other people opinion it follows its own path no matter what a strong mind is that one visualize success and this prepared to work to make that picture come up into your life strong mind strong life if you are not willing to learn no one can help you if you are determined to learn no one can stop you live your life with that determination to learn every single day and no one will stop you when you
who deliver Get up and get busy. Get busy and make things happen. You don't stop because you feel that this is all you have left. You keep going. You keep working at it. Get up, do something with your life. You must visualize the steps that lead you to the thing that you want. It's your turn. There is nothing wrong. You owe nobody nothing. It's your turn. You shouldn't feel guilty. It's your turn. The number one thing that is going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your relationship, that you must raise your standards. There is a way out here somewhere there is a solution. What is that you are seeking? That you have the capacity whatever comes up to handle it, to face it and rather than feeling powerless. you begin to feel powerful the only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards that's all of us in life have things we want we don't get what we want we get what we have to have some of you are not successful because every single time you run against a trail stop complaining if you want to make a difference all you got to do is make a decision all of you got to do to make a difference is make a decision how you address it is how you face it you face it every single day of your life you have to live in your world you can't judge yourself sometimes you have to do what you don't want to do so you can live like you want to live this is going to help you reach your goal even if you don't like it do it anyway Imagine how you feel when you reach your goal. You have to fix in your mind what is that you want in life. You have to be very clear on exactly what you want. Many people fail in their goals because they don't care about them. Achieving your goals can be hard. You want to make them happen. Make sure you know your why and write it down. Why do you want to do this goal? How will the result benefit you and help you? You can ask question to yourself where do i want to be in 5 years what kind of job do i want to have where do i want to be in my career what will my family look like answer this question write it down visualize it see it you have to write a clear statement in your paper you have to be very clear while writing the clearer you can become on every single one of your goals the more clear likely you hit the goal now create a plan to accomplish it Once you decide this is a goal you have to begin now and make it happen. A lot of people are overthinkers. They did not spend time coming up with a plan. They just overthink and they are afraid to take actions. Success comes to people who set a goals. Be one of them. Your goals need to be specific. You need to know exactly what to accomplish. Read your statement out loud to yourself so that you see it, hear it and say it. Read out every single day. Measure your progress. Your goal without a deadline is just a dream. It's important to set a realistic date to accomplish it. You need to be specific about what you're trying to do. You deal with failures and learn from them. You meet new people, you gain new skills, you become something different and better. 
One of the greatest benefit of pursuing goal is that they grow you often to achieve your goals. You have to learn and grow and change. So start doing it. The moment when we wake up every single day, we distract ourselves. People check their phones, check their social media, check their messages. And it is like the first 30 minutes of their day is completely gone. They designed themselves to that moment to be distracted. The reason is we are not trained to be focused. We are trained to be distracted. We have mastered distraction. Everyone has a different level of focus. Some people may find it more difficult to focus but some people can easily concentrate. Everybody can improve their focus. You have to understand how your brain works so that you help yourself to get more focused. The first thing you need to do is to figure out what time is best for you to focus and identify to complete a task. The way we take care of our minds affect the way we live our life. That's how the brain works. So it is important to invest time to keep your mind healthy. There are many ways to keep your mind healthy, such as having enough sleep, reading books, meditation and exercise will help you to focus well. When you focus on something for a long time, your concentration may begin to die. You may feel more and more difficult and our brain start to ignore our work. Spend 25 minutes on a single task and relax for 5 minutes. That's how you can be fully focused. Reduce multitasking. It makes you feel unproductive and you will be out of focus. Making a to-do list at the beginning of every day or week can make you feel more focused and motivated to continue your work. You make a list of all the things you have to do, no matter how small, you feel more accomplished when you check those items of your list, move on to the next task. This will also keep you focused on one task at a time. Do one thing for 25 minutes and take a break for five minutes. Do this for 90 minutes in a whole day. You will be start becoming aware of your work. You will be productive and your focus getting stronger. So start doing it. No matter how old you are, it is never too late to change your life for the better. Remember that your reality is a result of the things you do on a daily basis, from what you eat for breakfast to where you go to work or school. People love to complain about their life circumstances, then they do nothing to change them. They just complain themselves. Before we can make a change in your life, first you must take responsibility for where your life currently is. Where you are in your life right now is the result of all the action that you are going to take. If you are going to change your life circumstances, you will have to change the things you do every single day. You don't have to change everything at once. Just trying one new change to your routine at a time can create a progress. Even the smallest changes to your daily routine can help you feel less bored with life. Any change that needs to happen in your life need to be intense about making that change. You are 100% in control of what you do and not to do. It is up to you. It is your decision. You can make a change at any point. The best way you feel happier about your life is to stop living in the past and stop worrying about the future. When you change and grow and get better, everything in your life will change and grow and get better. What would you like to see in all the relationship you have? No matter how much money you make or how great your accomplishments are, you will not be able to enjoy your success if you don't have loved ones to share it with. Be sure to spend quality time with loved ones and treat them with understanding. If you want to change anything, now is the time, so start doing it.
when you have much ambition in your life but your action is not matching up with you your discipline is lacking learning discipline is not a destination choose an area in which to be more disciplined in what area do you want to be more disciplined maybe it's work studies not following a bad habit accept that you are the person who brings a change in your life discipline it's not something that you are born with it is something that you have to develop in yourself learning to become disciplined requires a regular practice with practice you learn how to work with who you are and what you need to develop the self discipline you care about self discipline is not something you get overnight it is a skill that is developed through daily practice create a plan and set goals it is easy to get out of hand when you don't know where you are going figure out what discipline means to you improving your self discipline improves your will get clear about what you have to do daily to be disciplined discipline is a habit something that you build great in yourself we don't need discipline for the easy things in life we don't need discipline to eat pizza we don't need discipline to sleep we need discipline to wake up early we need discipline to force you go to the gym it is lot easier to do single time but it isn't going to build the life that you want the discipline going to build the life that you want the result of the discipline which create the life which you truly want discipline is not being perfect it is about winning more than you lose in the battle every single day you have to practice your discipline it leads to progress which leads to success when you practice discipline you will be happier and more confident in yourself so start doing it If you want to find heaven you must go through hell If you want to find growth you must first go through resistance You have to go through hell to get the results Go through hell to get your heaven I cannot grow without pain I will not grow without pain Pain is my friend pain is my gift from the god Pain is my employee I order him to give me more He's not working hard enough He must give me more in order for me to grow. All my greatest teachers came through my greatest pain. My greatest growth came after my greatest pain. In life without pain there is no next level. Without hell there is no heaven. Go to your darkness to get your light. Pain is my friend. Pain pushes me to greatness. I invite pain to attempt to defeat me. Defeat me it won't because my heart is greater than any pain my heart is stronger than any pain pain changes people pain forces change if you tired of pain push through it if you sick of pain push harder push through the pain without pain there is no next level without hell there is no heaven go to your darkness to get your light use the pain as fuel fuel that will take you wherever you need to go use the pain as motivation motivation to be better motivation to get stronger the pain i feel today will be the strength tomorrow i have never known the strong person with an easy past strong people are strong because they have been through the pain because they kept going they kept fighting and they did not allow the pain to defeat them that is mental strength that is character in life you get to choose will the pain stop you or will it grow you you cannot grow without pain
Jealousy is one of the most powerful directional signals on the planet because you are only jealous of people that are doing things or having things that you want. You get an opportunity and that's the moment the door opens but your new life does not begin unless you can step through the door. It is so easy to see what somebody else should do. It is so easy to cheer for somebody else. We all do that. We cheer for our favorite. We support everyone around us. But we do not know how to do it for ourselves. The average person cannot celebrate themselves. They do not high five themselves in the mirror. You can't raise your hand to your reflection without drowning yourself in the moment. Most of us talk to themselves. I don't know if I'm worth that. I don't know if right now is the right time to do this. I don't think I'm good enough. You can feel it pulling you and you are actively arguing against it. You are bringing yourself down. You are beating yourself out. One of the biggest objection that people had to standing in the front of mirror over and over again they say I haven't done anything worthy for I find. I don't enjoy what I do for living. I don't have anything to celebrate. People are making a fundamental mistake. You are withholding every support and celebration that you need to change and to do hard work and face the thing and that you scared off. And that's why you are not changing because you can't stand in the front of mirror and raise your hand and high five yourself. You will never get what you want in life. Try to stand in the front of mirror and raise your hand and high five yourself. You got a choice. Do you take yourself down or do you lift yourself up? It begins with you. So start doing it. When you refuse to allow any doubt in your own mind, then no doubt from others will ever cloud your judgment. When you create a strong mind, there can be no other that will defeat you with their words or with their judgment. When you believe in you, you need no other to believe in you because others really have no say in who you will become. Only you have that say, only you can decide. if others opinion become reality or you create your own fate the greatest challenges any human will face is their own doubts their own fears and their own thoughts if you want to live your dream you will have to fight for it you will have to fight the greatest battles of your life there is no greater pain that can be inflicted on you than your own internal enemy your own thought will cause you more pain than anyone or anything when you learn to control and direct your mind you can direct that internal voice to work for you rather than against you you get it to work for you by create a compelling a future your future you will be proud to achieve proud to live through you do this by not just having goals by having a meaningful goals goals that get you excited to wake up early in the morning you do this by understanding what your purpose in life really is when you know this thing when you work on yourself daily you can quit that voice in your head you can feel good enough because you are good enough but it does take it commitment a commitment of daily practice to work on yourself cut out something that you spend a lot of time on that does nothing good for your life and replace it with daily work on you fill your mind with the strength and optimism and you will live a life of strength and optimism
What you do when the mountain seems too large? When the weight of the world feels too heavy? When the burden is too much to carry? What you do when it all seems impossible? You might be going through something right now. It might be frustrating. You might be working hard to change and not seeing any reason. You may have tried almost everything and nothing has worked. You can be frustrated but you cannot quit because quitting is the only way to guarantee failure. Quitting is the only way to guarantee the suffering stays. No matter how you feel, keep going. When it seems unlikely, when it seems impossible, when it seems like there is no way out, I tell myself this day by day, one day at a time, I'll be closer. Step by step, one step at a time, I'll be closer. Choice by choice, one choice at a time, I'll be better. If I look at the huge mountain ahead, I might never take that first step. But if I take that first step and my focus is always on the next step, and I continue to take those strong steps forward, soon I will gain so much strength and so much progress that I will have no choice but to finish my journey. If my goal is to be closer to my destination every day to be stronger, it won't be long until I see progress and that progress will create confidence and strength to move forward again. One day where you love yourself enough to make powerful choices that will benefit your life. One day where you care enough about your life to stand up for what really matters to you. I will not quit. I know it will be hard and I know it will be worth it. No matter how low you feel, you can get through this. Take it step by step, day by day, choice by choice, one day at a time. Most people give up too easy. Most people are ready to throw in the towel when things get tough. Most people stop chasing their dream because of fear. I talk about most people, not you. You never give up when times get tough. You will keep going even if the odds are stacked against you. That's what make you special. That's what make you a champion. I have never heard of champion giving up when times get tough. Champions keep going until they get victory. That's the champion mindset. Not everyone become a champion. Only those with a burning desire and a huge passion for what they do are the one who get the title. There is always a lot of people who started with nothing and ended up with everything. If they can do it, why can't you? You just have to think like a champion, train like a champion and be like a champion. If you have to fake it until you make it, soon you won't have to fake it. Because after hard work, you make it. After the struggle, you will make it. A lot of people talk about how they are going to succeed. It's much easier to talk about what you are going to do than actually doing it. But no one becomes successful by doing things in the easy way. No one becomes successful by talking. They become successful by doing. Actions speak louder than words. If you don't work for what you want, you will end up with something that you don't want. If you don't work for what you want, you will more likely work for someone who did it, someone who wants to work for. Most people don't go after what they want because of fear of success or fear of failure. Remember that you only get one chance in life. Make sure it's unforgettable.
It is natural to worry that our rejection or the result of personal flaws or failure. At some point, every single person you know has faced rejection. But the truth is, it's happened to everyone. People who fear failure do internal representation of things that may not work in the future. It is what prevent them from taking the step. When fear begin to take over your life and affect your functioning, they become a problem. Why people don't take action in order to create the life they want? Lot of time, people just feel the physical feeling of fear. When it comes to something as scary as starting a business, it might seem impossible to overcome fear. We live in uncertainty, sometimes with a lack of confidence. Some people are afraid to do different things that really uncomfortable. They don't get over. Lot of people don't live their true life. Fear of rejection is literally built into us. Now you are going to do something you have never done before. Fear is going to step in. There is no courage without fear. We have to build the awareness. One of the most important things you can do when facing rejection is to simply let things go. You deserve to move past this experience without letting it knock your self-esteem. Imagine the outcome you desire. Think about yourself experiencing the life. Tell yourself you can make a big difference. Think positive of the outcome. Now that you better understand your fear, think about what exactly you want to change. Our brain are like computers. You must take out the fear virus. Reprogram your brain with new positive, better thoughts. Rebuild your brain. Exercise your brain and take action. Believe in your abilities and skills. So start doing it. Our life are full of waiting, waiting in traffic, waiting in checkout line, waiting for Amazon two-day delivery, waiting for the perfect time to start, and so on. Waiting is a part of life. A person will take a perfect choice or take a perfect decision when he is in a state of patience, because emotion will lead a person to take a wrong decision. Throughout our life, we make many goals, but the most important quality required to achieve those goals, except hard work and intelligence, is patience. And it doesn't matter how smart you are; if you can't trust the process, you will always lose. Take time to think about how long am I willing to wait. This question will allow you to understand what things are truly important to you. Think about the mood that you are in when you are not patient. This will tell you a lot about how your energy changes when your patience is tested. Patience will help a person handle himself, like improves the ability to accept whatever happens, let it happen, accepting the situation, which is very much helpful to maintain a healthy mind. Patience means more than being able to stick to a task until it's finished. When you are doing your work patiently by not thinking about whatever the result is, if you have given your best shot. and cannot see the result yet have patience if you have applied for a dream job position and haven't heard any message yet have patience if your startup is not taking off have patience patience also improves your attitude towards hard situation so that you can handle them with a calm mindset and the result will be perfect take life slow don't rush success patience is an essential quality for building anything successful nothing truly meaningful is built overnight and the patient will allow you to be fast in short time but it will allow you the long term vision to shine anyone can achieve whatever he wants whatever he aims to achieve with the help of patience successfully so start doing it
When we think of the word positive, most of us probably think happy. However, happiness is not the only type of positivity. There are many ways to be more positive in your life. If you want to think positively, surround yourself with other positive thinkers and with people who bring out the best in you. Hang out with people who are supportive, friendly and like you for who you are. If you don't like hanging out with someone because they put you in a bad mood, stop hanging out with them. Try not to judge yourself for your thought or feelings. Accept the things about yourself that you can't change. Accept yourself for who you are right now. Being positive is up to you. When you understand how your mind works, you really can create the life you desire. Accepting that you have negative thoughts and feeling that you don't enjoy. No matter what you're going through right now, there is always a way to find positivity. Don't ignore negativity. Focus on the negative part. Dive deeper into the negative so you find the positive in the negativity. You have to realize it is about growing. It is about learning. Everything is a lesson. All of your failures are lessons so that you can grow, improve and better. Every single thing we do, we are learning the lesson. In life, whatever it is, it is not happening to you. It is happening for you. Our mind is one of the important things to work on. We have to figure out a way to calm down, to be happy and peaceful. We have to start looking at our entire life. How can we remove much negative and how can we find the positivity in every single thing we do? Find some positive inside of everything. Your life is built to grow and to learn. Everything is happening for you. Nothing is happening to you. You just have to create a positive environment to be happy. As a human being, we believe that it is our responsibility to find our purpose and do something with this amazing life that God has given us. What people should be doing if they lost their life? Every morning when they wake up, they should ask one question to themselves. What the purpose in life? We get to make the purpose of our life. That's the purpose. Some people are depressed in their entire life because they don't feel like there is a purpose. They don't give purpose to themselves. You need to figure out what the purpose is. You wake each morning sitting down with pen and paper figuring out asking yourself the same question. What do you want to be in life? You can live a life of purpose by following your passion, setting goals and living a more balanced life. You remind yourself every morning. You start getting a better idea exactly what your life wants to be. Most people have an idea but they don't really know the road to get to that destination. They don't know exactly how to get there. The best way to find your purpose is whenever you start a puzzle, the easiest way to start is to build the frame of your puzzle first. You have to build the frame. If you don't even know what you want, then you haven't built any of the frame of your puzzle yet. If your frame of the puzzle built, your job is to find each individual piece to fit into that puzzle. When you start doing this, you start to notice things happening in your life. You don't know what the entire puzzle is going to look But from now, if you have built the frame and you continue adding the puzzle piece every single morning and keep finding those opportunities every single day. And after a couple of years, you look back, this is the puzzle I was building. Start figuring out, build the outside of the puzzle first. And then each day, ask yourself the purpose of your life is and fill in that puzzle as much as you can. It will help you realize what is important to you in life. So start doing it.
As a human being, we believe that it is our responsibility to find our purpose and do something with this amazing life that God has given us. What people should be doing if they lost their life? Every morning when they wake up, they should ask one question to themselves. What the purpose in life? We get to make the purpose of our life. That's the purpose. Some people are depressed in their entire life because they don't feel like there is a purpose. They don't give purpose to themselves. You need to figure out what the purpose is. You wake each morning sitting down with pen and paper figuring out asking yourself the same question. What do you want to be in life? You can live a life of purpose by following your passion, setting goals and living a more balanced life. You remind yourself every morning to start getting a better idea exactly what your life wants to be. Most people have an idea but they don't really know the road to get to that destination. They don't know exactly how to get there. The best way to find your purpose is whenever you start a puzzle, the easiest way to start is to build the frame of your puzzle first. You have to build the frame. If you don't even know what you want, then you haven't built any of the frame of your puzzle yet. If your frame of the puzzle built, your job is to find each individual piece to fit into that puzzle. When you start doing this, you start to notice things happening in your life. You don't know what the entire puzzle is going to look like. But from now, if you have built the frame and you continue adding the puzzle piece every single morning and keep finding those opportunities every single day. And after a couple of years, you look back, this is the puzzle I was building. Start figuring out, build the outside of the puzzle first. And then each day ask yourself the purpose of your life is and fill in that puzzle as much as you can. It will help you realize what is important to you in life. So start doing it. I think pushing yourself physically is the number one factor in life. That is the true spot where you can dive deep into. Life is about self-discipline. We tend to do the things easy. It builds no mental toughness. It builds nothing. When you work out, working out is where you can build that to the fastest. It is constant. It gives you instant feedback. But the discipline it takes to transfer over to all aspects of your life when you look in the mirror, every morning we all look in the mirror to get ready to go to work or go anywhere. The first thing you see is your reflection. If you don't like what you see in the morning, you lost the war already. There are different ways to break. You can break physically, you can break mentally and none of those are fun. All of those are going to leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. Because every time you break, while it's a chance, it's a chance for you to give up and not for you to just fall apart. But there is also an opportunity. There is an opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and more stable. We live in a world where we want to be as comfortable as we can. And we wonder why we have no growth. We wonder why the smallest thing in our life get difficult. We don't want to suffer and we don't want to feel discomfort. So, the whole time, we are living our life in a very comfortable area. There is no growth in there. What was very uncomfortable was trying to face things that I didn't want to face. Think about something you want for you. That's real for you. That's important for you. Because that will give your life some special meaning and power. When you say this, even when you face a tremendous setback, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game to keep you moving forward.